Welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Today, I want to share a fascinating and I think very important new scientific discovery. This is from a hot off the press report in a really prestigious scientific journal called Nature Communications. What the scientists were able to shed light on for the first time is an underlying mechanism for something that we observe very, very consistently. And that is that adults, particularly in modern westernized culture, gain weight over their adulthood. And the average adult in America gains one to two pounds a year, which is, you know, over time, quite ominous. For many people that can uh, mean you go from normal weight to obesity. And for most everyone, it, it will mean going from normal weight to being overweight. And weight control is what? The single most powerful lever you have to increase your chance of long, active, and vital life, assuming you're not a smoker. The reason is because being overweight, particularly being obese, increases your risk of 27 different chronic health conditions. Okay, back to the site. So what they did is they took 54 uh, adult men and women, and they actually were biopsying and following things happening in their fat cells over a period of about 13, in some cases up to 16 years. And what they were able to see in all of these study subjects as they age, in other words, as over this 13 to 16 uh, period of time, all of them over time lost or experienced a diminished ability to remove fat from their fat stores and burn it, but they didn't have a corresponding decrease in their ability to store fat. So the bottom line is we call this, they had re reduced lipid or fat turnover in their fat stores. Again, meaning they had a diminished ability to be able to take the fat stored and burn it, right? But at the same time, they didn't have any decreased propensity to store fat. Because in other words, they could store fat just as much as they ever could. So what that meant for all of them, unless they did something like eat less or move more, they gained weight. So again, for the first time, we have an explanation of why we see so consistently that Americans and, and adults in other westernized cultures have this, this you know, creep upward in their weight over time. Now here, there's some good news in this. We know that exercise is something that will increase fat cell turnover. We have plenty of studies to show that. And it makes sense because we do see that adults who are very committed to physical fitness tend to be the camp of the group that does not gain weight over their adulthood. So let that be, you know, major motivation to you to make sure you commit to exercise, actual regular physical activity. The sad reality is what, what we see most Americans do is they actually move less as they get older and that can compound this issue. Another thing I'm going to throw at is weigh yourself regularly so you can see, oh my goodness, the scale is going up. Ideally, you want to weigh at least once a week, if not every day. Um, again, for something that is like the most important thing you could do for your health, keep your weight in a healthy range, lose weight if it's uh, in, a, in a problematic range. I mean, yes, of course, weigh yourself. And you can see the scale tells you the truth and you can see if you need to... Uh, you know, make some changes. Do I need to move more? Do I need to eat less? Anyway, so I hope this helps you and that it gives you a real explanation if indeed you're like many people um, and have experienced this or struggle with this, but there's definitely uh, scientifically proven antidotes to that. So hope that helps you. Thank you.